Yes guys, as part of this session, we are going to see some of the dream MNC interview questions based on Java data structures and algorithm. Okay, because if you go for any dream MNC, they just make you guys to write the logic that is create, I mean like uh, write the code for your own algorithm. That is very important. Even if you put many frameworks, they doesn't bother about that. They want only the algorithm. Okay. So as part of that interview, we are going to see some top interview questions. And if you focus on these questions, definitely I'm sure you can feel good or comfort in interview room because these are some famous questions and based on these questions there will be some twist so if you able to manage those twists which are there in particular question then i'm sure you can write the logic that is the one algorithm on your own okay so first let us see the first question for this session okay think that there is one string it's like position one n o dot and this is uh, dot okay at durga is this i want to make this particular string reverse i mean this must and should come first that is in a particular string the substring this must come first and is must come here and durga here and at here n o dot here one here and position here okay meaning that we have to reverse it the same question can be done in many ways you can create a linked list and you can separate each and every string based on the space and you can print that from reverse you can do that also it is also the correct logic but the main i mean way of developing an algorithm is an efficient one that is it must be an efficient one in terms of space as well as performance so without creating extra objects in the memory you have to get this output how we are going to develop the code for that let us see later okay now this is an input so in interview room definitely you won't get a logic for this thing because it's very difficult you might be tense okay at that time definitely the interviewer will help you he will use some small hints to develop the code if you are trying and if you are in position to try everyone will help us okay now so for this i am going to give one small trick because i have analyzed this thing many times and i got one good logic okay and even uh, some of my friends suggested me to develop this particular problem or solve this problem in particular way so the best thing is what i am going to do here is this is one word and this is one word this one is one word at is one word that is a substring containing only one character okay and durga is one word and is is one word and this is one word what i am going to do here is i am going to reverse each particular word in this entire string so if i reverse each particular word what is going to be the output n o i t i s o p and this is single character and it is a string with single character if i reverse it will be as it is okay and dot o n and at the same thing a g o u d s i s i h and t okay now what you are going to do here is you have considered a particular word in that particular string and you have reversed the particular word inside that string right now consider this entire string as a word and reverse it same thing you just put t here and put n here and just put this h here and o here if you put like that what is going to be the output you just see here t h i s space i s d u o g a at n o dot 1 p o s i t i o n of course this is durga at number one position this is our certain output expected one we are achieving it or not of course we are achieving what we have to do is you have to reverse the particular word in a particular string and you have to reverse entire string that the two actions you want to perform here to get this output here we are not creating any extra memory i mean objects in the memory that is very important okay let us see how we can do that one okay now let me go and take string buffer why string buffer even you can take linked list also but let us go with easier one okay let me develop this one in faster way okay so first let me take like 
let me take the string as as i did earlier one right so let me go according to that one position one and more dot at g a i s t h i s okay so now this is our input that is the static string buffer okay you can see here position one number at durga is this okay that is our input and we have one main method here okay now let me write so first let us iterate that particular string buffer okay take one local variable i equal to zero and take one uh, iterative statement i less than s dot length now come think a little do some analysis don't write something as a blind one even i don't know this particular condition to write think that so till what condition it has to get iterate till the last index of the particular string buffer right so if it is like a string buffer what how can i access a particular character in string buffer by using the indexes where the index starts with zero so if my length is 30 and what will be the last character index it will be like 29 so what i'm going to put here is i less than s dot length okay so 29 think that i value is like 29 is less than 30 so till last character of a particular string buffer i am going to perform some operations within this while body okay it's very important try to focus now if s dot care at of i equal to equal to just think that this is position right so position how i can separate each particular word in that string buffer based on some conditions if i i mean if i traverse if i am at this space okay if i am at this space you just stop that iteration and pass the starting and end index of that particular word to one method to reverse this particular word so what i'm going to do here is if s dot of character is equal to space okay if that is the case do some operations if that is the case you just take one local variable where j equal to 0 and take one more variable to represent the start index of the particular word so here w represents start index of a particular word okay now what is this uh, j represents j represents last index of the particular word try to focus this one last and first okay now currently at what position i value will be as space let us write here it is zero sorry it is like uh, zero one two three four five six seven and eight at eighth position of i we are going to get space so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to assign i value to j because j represents what last index of the particular word but and now where is the start index of the particular word we don't know so what i'm going to do here is if i equal to equal to 0 w is just assign 0 to w what is w represents it represents the start index of a particular word so i have 0 and 8 with me so but what is the position word a last index it is 7 so you just do one thing j minus minus and just pass w and j to one method 
such that that method is responsible to reverse the word take it as static void swap it is use a different function okay let it be like arguments int i comma int j okay now okay now we are having start and end index of a particular word here we don't know what is the size of the particular word a word can have even 100 characters also some even 1000 characters also but that doesn't exist in nature but let us think it exist okay so that's why i'm going to take some iterative statement here we have to write one beautiful condition which i don't know even still and let us develop that from the scratch so you guys will be feeling comfort in it okay now some condition if you know how to write these conditions i am sure you are very good in algorithm writing conditions is the part of the programmer that is you are intimating you are giving sons i mean some signs to jvm hey jvm do some actions but till you aware of this condition if you aware of this condition don't do some actions come out of that one it is a tricky way of thinking okay now come to the main point we know that we know that position okay position is like this p o s i t i o n 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay now i took while why while we don't know how many characters will be present in a particular word so let it be one condition we have to write one condition here so you just want to make end to be at pith position p o s i t i o n you have to make this n to come here and this p to be here and the same way i to o to here and this o to here and i to here and s to here and t to here and i to here so if you do like that think that this is the first action 1 0 and this is 1 1 and 1 uh, 1 sorry 2 uh, 1 and this is 2 0 2 1 and 3 0 3 1 and 4 0 4 1 okay so because of 1 0 n will be here and p will be at seventh position okay and because of this action okay this is 1 0 and let us think that one 0 here and once again 0 here and now i will come at i s i mean s position and once again s will be here and what is t will come here and i will come here and you just check whether it get reverse or not you just check it uh, just uh, think this one if you want to write reverse you may get confused here whether we get or not okay let us write once again n o i t i s o p of course n o i t i s o p we get a reverse so if we perform if we write logic for that particular pattern we are sure that a particular word is going to get reverse okay so now we have very good method in string buffer that is set caret set caret what its functionality it is going to replace a particular character at the specified index so this is int comma and char okay this character will get set at this particular index even you can take and i mean uh, you can use a string also but in the case of string is if there is any change in content of the existing instance then with those changes a new object will get create in the heap area and once again you have to make the reference for that here we are going to create unwanted objects in the memory so it is better to go for string buffer right 